Bidden Chandra Roy MRCP, FRCS, 1 July 1882 – 1 July 1962 was an eminent Indian physician, educationist, philanthropist, freedom fighter and politician who served as the Chief Minister of West Bengal from 1948 until his death in 1962. Bidden Roy is often considered the maker of modern West Bengal due to his key role in the founding of several institutions and five eminent cities, Durgapur, Kalyani, Bidhanagar, Ashokanagar and Habra. He is one of the few people in history to have obtained FRCS and MRCP degrees simultaneously. In India, the National Doctors' Day is celebrated in his memory every year on 1 July. He was awarded Bharat Ratna on 4 February 1961, India's highest civilian honour. He was also a member of the Brahmo Samaj. <laughs> Early life and education Bidhan Chandra Roy was born on 1 July 1882 at Bankipur, Patna, where his father, Prakash Chandra Roy, was working as an excise inspector. His mother, Agor Kamini Devi, was a pious lady and a devoted social worker. Bidden was the youngest of five siblings. He had two sisters, Susharbashini and Sarajini, and two brothers, Subod and Sadan. Bidden's parents were ardent Brahmo Samajists, led an austere and disciplined life, and devoted their time and money to the service of everyone in need, irrespective of caste or creed. Prakash Chandra was a descendant of the family of the rebel Hindu king of Jessore, Maharaja Pratapaditya, but did not inherit much wealth from his ancestors. He earned only a moderate salary for most part of Bidhan's childhood, yet he and Agor Kamini supported the education and upbringing of not just their own children but also a number of other poor children, mostly orphans. The spirit of give and take was inculcated in Bidhan and his siblings from their tender years. They were taught and even encouraged to give away what was precious to them, freely and willingly. Bidden completed his matriculation from Patna Collegiate School in 1897, obtained his IA degree from Presidency College, Calcutta and BA from Patna College with honours in mathematics. After completing his graduation in mathematics, he applied for admission to the Bengal Engineering College and the Calcutta Medical College. His application was accepted by both institutions and he opted to pursue medical studies. Bidden left Patna in June 1901 to join the Calcutta Medical College. While at medical school, Bidden came upon an inscription which read, Whatever thy hands findeth to do, do it with thy might. These words became a lifelong source of inspiration for him. The partition of Bengal was announced while Bidden was in college. Opposition to the partition was being organized by nationalist leaders like Lala Lajpat Rai, Tilak and Bipin Chandra Pal. Bidden resisted the immense pull of the movement. He controlled his emotions and concentrated on his studies, realizing that he could serve his nation better by qualifying in his profession first, intending to enroll himself at St. Bartholomew's Hospital to pursue postgraduate study in medicine. Bidden set sail to England in February 1909 with only 1,200 rupees. However, the dean of St. Bartholomew's Hospital was reluctant to accept an Asian student and rejected Bidden's application. Dr. Roy did not lose heart but kept submitting his application again and again till the dean, after 30 admission requests, admitted Bidden to the college. Bidden completed his postgraduation in just two years and three months, and in May 1911 accomplished the rare feat of becoming a member of the Royal College of Physicians and a Fellow of the Royal College of Surgeons simultaneously. He returned home from England in 1911. Topic: Career. Immediately after graduation, Roy joined the Provincial Health Service. He exhibited immense dedication and hard work, and would even serve as a nurse when necessary. In his free time, he practiced privately, charging a nominal fee. Following his return from England after post-graduation, he taught at the Calcutta Medical College and later at the Campbell Medical School and the Carmichael Medical College. Doctor. Roy believed that Swaraj the call to action for India's freedom would remain a dream unless the people were healthy and strong in mind and body. He made contributions to the organization of medical education. He played an important role in the establishment of the Jadaspur TB. Hospital, Chittaranjan Siva Sadan, Kamala Nehru Memorial Hospital, Victoria Institution College, and Chittaranjan Cancer Hospital. The Chittaranjan Siva Sadan for Women and Children was opened in 1926. 
Women were unwilling to come to the hospital initially, but thanks to Dr. Roy and his team's hard work, the Siva Satan was embraced by women of all classes and communities. He opened a center for training women in nursing and social work. In 1942, Rangoon fell to Japanese bombing and caused an exodus from Calcutta fearing Japanese insurgency. Dr. Roy was serving as the vice chancellor of the University of Calcutta. He acquired air raid shelters for schools and college students to have their classes in, and provided relief for students, teachers and employees alike. In recognition for his efforts, the Doctorate of Science was conferred upon him in 1944. Dr. Roy believed that the youth of India would determine the future of the nation. He felt that the youth must not take part in strikes and fasts but should study and commit themselves to social work. While delivering the convocation address at the University of Lucknow on 15 December 1956, Dr. Roy said, My young friends, you are soldiers in the battle of freedom freedom from want, fear, ignorance, frustration and helplessness. By a dint of hard work for the country, rendered in a spirit of selfless service, may you march ahead with hope and courage. Dr. Roy was both Gandhiji's friend and doctor. When Gandhiji was undertaking a fast in Parnakutavan, Pune in 1933, Dr. Roy attended to him. Gandhiji refused to take medicine on the grounds that it was not made in India. Gandhiji asked Dr. Roy, Why should I take your treatment? Do you treat 400 million of my countrymen free? Dr. Roy replied, No Gandhiji, I could not treat all patients free. But I came not to treat Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, but to treat him, who to me represents the 400 million people of my country. Gandhiji relented and took the medicine. Dr. Roy entered politics in 1925. He ran for elections from the Bharatpur constituency as an independent candidate for the Bengal Legislative Council and defeated the Grand Old Man of Bengal, Surendranath Banerjee. Even though an independent, he voted with the Swaraj Party, the parliamentary wing of the Congress in the 1920s. As early as 1925, Dr. Roy tabled a resolution recommending a study of the causes of pollution in Hooghly and suggested measures to prevent pollution in the future. Dr. Roy was elected to the All India Congress Committee in 1928. He kept himself away from rivalry and conflicts and made a deep impression on the leaders. Dr. Roy efficiently conducted the civil disobedience in Bengal in 1929 and prompted Pandit Mudalal Nehru to nominate him member of the Working Committee in 1930. The CWC was declared an unlawful assembly and Dr. Roy along with other members of the committee were arrested on 26 August 1930 and detained at Alipur Central Jail. During the Dandi March in 1931, many members of the Calcutta Corporation were imprisoned. Congress requested Dr. Roy to remain out of prison and discharge the duties of the corporation. He served as the alderman of the corporation from 1930-31 and as the mayor OFR Calcutta from 1931 to 1933. Under him, the corporation made leaps in the expansion of free education, free medical aid, better roads, improved lighting, and water supply. He was responsible for setting up a framework for dispensing grant in aid to hospitals and charitable dispensaries. Post-independence The Congress Party proposed Dr. Roy's name for Chief Minister of Bengal. Dr. Roy wanted to devote himself to his profession. On Gandhiji's advice, however, Dr. Roy accepted the position and took office on 23 January 1948. Bengal at the time had been torn by communal violence, shortage of food, unemployment and a large flow of refugees in the wake of the creation of East Pakistan. Dr. Roy brought unity and discipline among the party ranks. He then systematically and calmly began to work on the immense task in front of him. Within three years law and order was returned to Bengal without compromising the dignity and status of his administration. He told the people, we have the ability and if, with faith in our future, we exert ourselves with determination, nothing, I am sure, no obstacles, however formidable or insurmountable they may appear at present, can stop our progress. If we all work unitedly, keeping our vision clear and with a firm grasp of our problems. The nation honored Dr. Roy with the Bharat Ratna on 4 February 1961. 
On 1 July 1962, his 80th birthday, after treating his mourning patients and discharging affairs of the state, he took a copy of the Brahmo Geet and sang a piece from it. Eleven hours later Dr. Roy died at midday past three. He had gifted his house for running a nursing home named after his mother, Agorkamini Devi. He had also constituted a trust for his properties at Patna to carry out social service, with eminent nationalist Ganga Shuran Singh Sinha being its first trustee, the B.C. Roy National Award was instituted in 1962 in Dr. Roy's memory and has been awarded annually since 1976. The award recognizes excellent contributions in the areas of medicine, politics, science, philosophy, literature and arts. The Dr. B.C. Roy Memorial Library and Reading Room for Children in the Children's Book Trust, New Delhi, was opened in 1967. Today, his private papers are part of the archives at the Nehru Memorial Museum and Library, at Teen Murti House, Delhi. <laughs> <laughs> 